Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. This week, I decided to explore some more watercolor application with salt to create some textured background. I love a watercolor textured background. So for this one, like all one-on-one -on -one techniques, I'm starting by wetting my paper down, getting it nice and evenly wet, and then I'm gonna start dropping in some of my various blues. I had these blues left over. I never wash my palette. I love to just keep reusing my watercolors and working past watercolor palettes into future projects like textured watercolor paper. So I'm really just building up some nice juicy color, trying to get a lot of pigment down on the page from these dried watercolors so that I have a lot of color to play with when I start getting all the salt. Then I decided that this really wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be and I wanted to speed up the process a little bit. I decided to dig into my Blick liquid watercolors and pull out the blue from that and just start splashing that down. Blick liquid watercolor makes for some really beautiful, vibrant color. It is a little bit syrupy, so I'm curious to see what happens when I put salt down on it because I've actually never tried the salt technique with like liquid watercolor before. So at this point I'm just spreading the blue around trying to get some nice bold color and then I'm going to go ahead and break that up with another liquid watercolor application. I just I love the richness of using multiple colors in a background or multiple values or hues of a type of color. I decided to go ahead and get out the turquoise, I think it is. I don't know. I've got two different blues and liquid watercolor from Blick, but it's going to give me a little bit of variation. But this is a very syrupy consistency to these watercolors, which is making it bleed in, not bleed rather, much. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some black liquid watercolor also, just to further push the value so that I have a bigger value range to hopefully create some very interesting texture later on when I add in the salt. But I do want to be mindful of how much black I put down, but it is pretty goopy. So I'm just splattering it a little bit here and there, and then I'm just going to add some water and really kind of billow it out, sort of, so that it gives me the variation I'm looking for without taking over the whole page. So at this point, there's a lot of moisture on the paper, but the bulk of it is watercolor. So that's gonna have an interesting effect, I think, when I go in with the salt. So this is just regular table salt. I pour a little bit into my palm, and then I start sprinkling it down. Because there's so much thick watercolor on here, I'm being a little more generous with the salt than I might have other, if I was just using any other kind of tube watercolor or pan watercolor. Sprinkling a little bit more in just so I can really get the texture I want to fairly evenly across the page or at least enough of a reaction for it. Then all I have to do is let this dry. And this is the final result. It's pretty cloudy is interesting. I'm not sure what else to call that. So it's a very different reaction than what I'm used to with salt. Till next time.